Hey guys, it's James here. I had the day off work today, uh, so I uh, just wanted to have a nice relaxing day. The kids are away to school, I'm about to pick them up, uh, or one of them up in a little while. And uh, so I just had a nice relaxing day around the shops, having a look at uh, the charity shops, as you'll probably see from my footage I've uploaded. Uh, and I say I've done that, and I came home, and there was a package uh, waiting for me, and I'll show you what that is in a second or two. But uh, the I don't know about you guys, but the that's what I like to do my day off. And uh, to be honest with you, I spent far too much as usual. Only I really need to start uh, getting back to my budget hunting rather than just buying what I like, shall we say? Well, I didn't spend a massive amount, but certainly, certainly, certainly en enough for one day. That's for sure. Uh, on there, so I'll show you what a uh, package arrived. Okay, and uh, first of all, it's never good, never good when the package arrives like this. Okay, now this is right through, and there's a hole, and there's a hole in it, and it was soaking wet when I got it. It was raining outside, but that's never good when you when you receive a when you receive a package. So, uh, I'll show you what I got. So I've got the Arrow release of Waterworld, and. I paid £23.60 for this. Now, as I was saying in previous videos, I heard that the American version of this had three discs, but on Amazon it was only advertised as having two in there. But this release does actually have three discs. So I did have a look. That's the corner that was thinking this. And you know what? It's actually okay. So it's not so it's not too bad not too bad on there. So I'm gonna have a look at this. And the, I say the only reason I paid the £23.60 it was off Amazon for this is because it is our, our film I really, really enjoy. And I, I've, I don't think I've ever seen this other than on TV and on Sky. And I don't know whether they show you the full cuts or not. Because I was reading about this and it had some interesting things. I also watched Cool Dooder's review out on it and he said it's got three discs in it and definitely does. So the three cuts of the movie on here okay, are the... Film newly restored from the original film elements by Arrow Films. Okay, so there's the disc one is the theatrical cut. Okay, and that's the original cut. The uh, the, the Odyssey of Water World and all new feet and it's also got all new feature length making and documentary including extensive cast and crew interviews and behind the scenes footage. It's also got dances with waves an original featurette capture in the film's production. Global warming film critic Glenn. Kenny explores the subgenre of ecology themed end of the world films. And it's got pro production and promotional stills, Gary, visual effects stills, Gary, original trailers, and TV spots. Now, this is the other parts that I quite like. This is this two, okay, the TV cut, presented of the extended US TV cut, which runs over 40 minutes longer than the theatrical cut. Wonder what's in that. See, I wonder if I've actually seen that. And it says it's also got the third disc three, the Ulysses cut, and this is a limited edition exclusive, okay? And it's and it and it's got a presentation of the extended European Ulysses cut, which includes previously censored shots and dialogue on there. So I'm really really looking forward to watching this. So I'll uh, just so as you can see, it's got an, a really nice case. I'm happy with that. I say there isn't any damage. Well. No, there's not any damage, it's just folded like a, like a normal one there. What's this? Oh, that's the uh, the J card, as you call it. I'll take that off carefully. There you go. So that's all the information I was telling you there. And it's also got, let's have a look. Ooh, a Waterworld poster. I might actually put that up. A new beginning. Two sided Waterworld poster. Nice. I should have, if, if, you know, if I was unboxing this, I would probably had that up in the background of the video. Uh, so there you go. And it's got an arrow release nice booklet here. Contents, casting crew, search of dryland, storm gathering. An interview with Kevin Costner. I suppose I get to show you guys, eh? So 
There you go, nice wee booklet there. And there you go, and there you've got the triple release of the Blu-rays, the Ulysses cut, the European one, the TV, the TV cut, and also the theatrical cut, and it's also got some nice Waterworld uh, postcards in there, as you can see. Double sided as well. Oh, they're all the same on one side though. Oh, like six Kevin Costner's. <laughs> uh, some nice cards in there, so I'll put that back in. And what's else in there? Oh, is this another one? Oh, and just a, a little bit of card, probably showing the rest of the Arrow releases in there. And let's have a little look. It's also got, by the looks of it, Reversible artwork. You know, sometimes I'm like, why, why, uh, why do people buy releases that cost twenty three and twenty four pound uh, and things like that when they can get them in CEX maybe later on? But these ones are limited edition and. Sometimes you don't see these out and about because if I bought that, it wouldn't be me that's trading that in uh, on there. And maybe when you do trade it in, bits go missing. You don't get everything that you're everything that you're supposed to in with it. And you know what? I'm actually thinking for the money I paid and what you get with this. This is really decent val decent decent value. I know some people disagree that uh, it is an older movie, and that uh, yeah, it's 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 a movie you you could you could get and you could watch on Sky and you could you could or you could watch on shall we say uh, movies. But would you get these releases? Would you have it on your shelf? Would you have all the additional bits and pieces? And you know, for a film that I really really enjoy. I'm I'm glad I've I'm glad I bought that. So I'm really really impressed with that from Arrow. Well done. And uh, I say I might not be so impressed in like six weeks if I do see it in CX for half the price or something like that. But I think that's highly un unlikely. So that's uh, my review and unboxing of Kevin Costner's World World. What I'll probably do is I'll watch all three cuts and I will let you give it an update on it and let's see if there's things in there that I've not seen before. I'm presuming that I'm presuming that there is on there, but absolutely brilliant release. Really impressed with that. Well worth well worth the money on there. Thanks, guys.